Animal control officers are used to seeing neglect and abuse of family pets, but sometimes those cases include evidence of child abuse. A proposed bill at the state capitol will now require animal control officers to report that to Child Protective Services. As Clayton Cummins explains, it's already procedure at Ingham County Animal Control. I think codifying it into the law is a great idea. John Dynan has been in the animal control business for some time. He came from Ohio where reporting cases of possible child abuse is already part of the job. While it may not be law in Michigan, it's a standard in Ingham County. We have very strong relationships with Child Protective Services, Adult Protective Services, and Community Mental Health. And, uh, you know, we want to know when they see animal cruelty and they want to know when we see family violence or mental, mental health issues. Responding to over 1,000 calls a year, Dynan says on a monthly basis, animal control officers are in touch with CPS. They'll often find that people that will abuse their pets will often abuse family members as well. We can get in places that sometimes uh, Child Protective Services can't get in. Uh, if we get a complaint about animal cruelty, we investigate where they need to meet a number of criteria. I mean, unfortunately, it happens. It happens in our community. It happens everywhere. They may not respond to neglect or cruelty at the Capital Area Humane Society, but it's the long-term behavioral effects that staff here at the shelter are all too familiar with. If we turn a blind eye to animal abuse, we might be missing something blatant in terms of the human side of the spectrum too. Let's let's do everything we can to keep both families and animals safe. In Mason, Clayton Cummins, Fox 47 News. Ingham County Animal Control is working on a program to provide a safe place for the pets of those who are in abusive situations. We'll continue to follow this story for you.